Hey, and welcome to another episode of Lightroom Newbie, where we are going to attempt to turn this already great looking raw file, actually, into something a little bit more contrasty and moody. Something along these lines. And I got this image from, not edit my raw this time, the subreddit, but wesaturate.com from user Will Lee. And you can actually use this website to download uh, free raw files to practice on. So that's what I did. And this guy's a really good photographer. So took one of his images to practice with. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just boost the warmth just a tad, not too much. Um, same thing with exposure. We're just going to pull that up slightly, not too much, about plus 24 right there. And since this is going to be contrast heavy, uh, I kind of want to make the whole image contrasty right off the bat. Um, and we're going to be you know, optimizing that a little bit down the road. So just about 24 right there as well. Um, highlights, we want to bring those down quite a bit. And kind of along the same lines, this, we'll come back to shadows. The whites, we also want to bring down just a tad. And for shadows, um, we want to bring those up along with actually want to bring the blacks down just a little bit okay clarity um not, we don't want to pull the clarity up too much just enough just to give it a little bit of a pop uh we're skipping vibrance and since we're kind of going for that moody look we want to desaturate the image uh, a bit here so about negative 29 um you can kind of see her skin tone is she looks a little bit ill now, so uh, we'll come back and fix that and give her a little bit more color. I uh, just kind of want to desaturate the image as a whole, but we are done with the basic panel. Uh, tone curve. Let's crush the blacks, as I say. I think I'm doing it right. Um, and all that means is moving the blacks on the tone curve a little bit from the left to the right. Uh, and I think all that really does is kind of deepen those blacks, kind of give it a little bit of a richer uh, look there. And we want we want to kind of do the same thing with the highlights, just bring those down a bit, and then just give it a very typical contrast curve from here. So pull that down a little bit, not too much. Her right side of her face is kind of looking a little bit too dark. Pull these up just a bit okay cool looks good to me okay color panel uh, this is where we will add a little bit of her skin tone her color back so in the saturation part um, we're gonna go to orange and kind of pull that up a little bit just to kind of add back some of her skin color so she doesn't look like she's is dying uh, same thing for yellow, just a little bit, not too, too much. But for the greens, we kind of want to desaturate that a little bit more. Uh, blues, actually, let's put the blues a little bit, a little more on the blues. Aqua, that's going to affect the sky mostly more than anything. And what did, purple, yeah, actually, let's desaturate that a little bit as well. We kind of want her standing out uh, from the lavender um, and actually let's go to the uh, composition um, or the crop tool uh, because I want her a little bit more centered um, that's just my taste for this image uh, we'll still have a lot of the lavender in the foreground but we're just getting rid of some of that down here just so she's a little bit more prominent okay cool I should have done that at the beginning but you know <clears throat> but I think we're done with the color panel luminance um, Let's see, what did I, I did mess around with the luminance a little bit. Yeah, we're going to kind of pull up on the oranges and the yellows just a tad, just to kind of make, kind of make her, you can kind of see that affects her skin tone more than anything. So we kind of want to pull that up. Gives her a little bit more of a uh, kind of highlights on the side of her face and her arms. Okay, that's all we're doing there. Split toning. Um, we're going to add a little bit of like a blue hint to the image on the highlights and the shadows. Um, so there's a little preset here with the blue. Um, it's a little bit too blue for my taste, so I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. Okay, good. And same thing with shadows. Okay, looks good. 
Okay, for the detail, uh, we kind of want to give, give this image like a kind of a softer look. Um, let's kind of zoom in on one of the lavenders. And we're going to do that by basically upping the luminance some. Um, and same thing with the color. Just kind of give it a softer look. Okay, that's all good there. Uh, lens correction, we can just remove chromatic aberration just in case. Transform, we won't do anything there. Uh, we'll come back to effects to add some vignetting in a little bit. And down to camera calibration. Uh, I was I I'm on a kick lately of just like adjusting the blues. Uh, I find it kind of gives this image in this case a really neat look. You kind of have to be careful with this one because it starts making her if you, if you go down too much. Like watch, we'll go, set it back to zero. She looks fine there, but the second you start going too far to the left, her skin tone starts looking red, and we don't want to do that. So we just want to pull it back just a bit more or less to affect the lavender. And same thing with greens. We kind of want to mess with the greens a little bit. Okay. All right, looks good about there. Okay, great. Um, what else? We are almost there. We want to add a graduate filter to the lavender. Um, just kind of give the lavender in the foreground a little bit more of a contrasty look. That's just my taste. So hold shift to kind of make it level. And we're going to kind of get it to merge into the girl here. Um, but to prevent uh, too much contrast, or to, to prevent the graduate filter from affecting you know, our subject here, we can take the, uh, the range mask down the bottom right and put it on colors. And then select just the uh, lavender with this little uh, sample selector, whatever you call it, the eyedropper. So it'll just be affecting the lavender. Um, I think I X'd out of it actually. Okay, let's go back to it and add a little bit of contrast. Okay, let's add a lot of contrast actually. And what else? I think I pulled down the highlights some too, just to add a little bit of, a little bit more depth to it, not the whites. Eh, it's looking a little weird. I did do something else to it. I think it was the exposure, maybe. It's looking strange. Let's just we'll just do the uh, contrast. It looks fine. Uh, I just wanted to give it a little bit more depth in the foreground, and that looks good. Um, and last but not least, let's add some vignetting. Just pull it down a little bit. Just kind of focus a little bit. And I think it looks good. Let's compare it to our initial image. It looks like she's a little bit more, she's got a little bit more, she's got kind of got a red hue. Let's fix that real quick. Because I kind of noticed that. I think it has to do with the camera calibration down here. Let's kind of pull the blues back just a tad. Oh, and one thing we want to do as well is put a radial filter on her face. Just kind of put a little clarity on it. Not too much. But just to kind of have her face stand out a little bit more. And we want to press O to see the affected area and select invert. So it's just affecting her face. Kind of pull it right there. Okay. Add a little bit of clarity. Not too much. Just kind of gives it a little bit more um, a little bit more of a focus right there in that area. And that looks good to me. Um, so that is my attempt, at least, at a moody portrait. Um, to be honest, this is the first one I've done. Uh, I kind of watched a little. And that is it for this episode of Lightroom Newbie. Thanks for watching.